all right in this video we'll learn about timers okay timers are very important in any in any application to include some delays in the output okay so we have two types of timer one is T off and T on so let's see the T on first this is the timer on delay okay this is on means on delay so you can find four keywords written here one is I and which is the input BT ED and Q okay so in I and we'll ap apply a bit this is my input bit this is to enable the timer Q is the output okay so outputs I'll take output and go to one bit connected to the output okay now to provide it some delay we need to provide delay at this PT terminal okay so for delay we'll take a numerical connected to PT okay this ED is the accumulated time this is the process time this is accumulated time so I'll tell you what is that let me just connect uh, int at the cumulative time okay now in this timer we have four variables once again in is the input which will enable the timer Q is the output PD is the time after which your output will be on not instantly this is the time delay in this timer we have a constant time not the constant I would say we have a time base of one milliseconds so if I enter here 7 let's say 4400 it means a delay of 4.4 seconds so this output will be on after 4.4 seconds and here you'll find the current time so this will show you the time how much time the delay has it's going on okay so you can see that so when I press the switch let's increase the delay say 1 seconds when I press this, this timer is enabled this is noting the time after I press the switch at 7100 this output will be on this is on this is the delay okay you can set the delay here so if I turn this off and change the delay to 10 seconds and turn this on again now this will count the time one second two second three this is a millisecond time base so it, that's why it's running so fast so at 10 seconds this bit will be on So that's how you provide delay using T on timer now one thing you must notice that I have to keep pressing it if I release it in between this will be off okay but I may have an application that I just want to press it once then after 10 seconds output should be on how can we do that what I want is if I press it once and I release then this should continue running output should be on after 10 seconds I don't want to press it for 10 seconds then my output should be on no I don't want that I just want if I press it and release it output should be on after 10 seconds so for that we'll include some more some more functions here okay so if you can recall we have done a function where is that function it is SR okay it's over bit SR functions now what this function will do we will connect this bit to the set okay and this out will go to the in of your timer Q will go to the bit this is the same this is the same now to turn off the output we will take another source bit over here now just see what will happen we have already done this SR now when I press it once and release it timer is on because this is set so it's running the time after 10 seconds this will turn on the output okay so this is how you can use SR in this application now to turn off the timer I need to turn off the out to turn off the out I have to put the reset like that output is off again pressing it once even if you keep pressing it doesn't make any doesn't make any difference release it this will keep on continuing and after 10 seconds this will be off like that after 10 seconds this is on and by putting the reset this is off so this is how we can use this function as well by having a pulse input and having a 10 second delay and turning on the output this is how we can use another way of using a T on timer okay so let's just turn it off now we have another timer which is T off okay this is the T off now here you can see that output is already on because this is the reverse of T on so let's take one more input here T in I'm taking the same delay here as well and I need some more output bits which I can get from here yeah this is the output bit oops this is the int sorry this will come here 
this is the bit this will come here so right now bit is on so this timer says this will be on for another 10 seconds which is a delay here okay but only in the condition right now if I press it down nothing will happen if I turn this off this bit then this will be off after 10 seconds like that time will start after you it has true to false condition at the input you'll find after 10 seconds this will be off so once again if I turn this off auto will be on instantly but this will be off when this time will be completed 10 second delay which is coming to PT as well after 10 seconds when you turn it off like that then it will be off after 10 seconds this is the off delay timer okay that's why it's T off I hope that makes sense this is was this was T on now this is off okay in this case output is on after 10 seconds all right have a look output is on after 10 seconds in this case output is off after 10 seconds this is on after 10 seconds here this will be off after 10 seconds that's the only difference pretty much cool huh so this is all about timers T on and T off can be used to get some delays in your process in your logics whatever you're making with connect IO. these are the timers thank you